Do you think they will nerf Tassadar in a week? I don't think so. No, because there was too many haters. Too much negative karma has been created of Tassadar that said his rework sucks. They gave him a few buffs. I don't think they'll nerf him in a week, no. I do think he's good. Yeah, if you want to find fast ranked games, guys, the key is to uh, play Team League 3Q. It's the fastest. Because there's always double Q to waiting. Move to Haka if we're planning an Abathur. People don't think his rework sucks from a gameplay standpoint. They think it sucks because it's not a high Templar. Yeah, but what is a high Templar? No auto attack, feedback, size storm, and hallucination. That would actually be pretty cool. No auto attack. And you can become an Archon. Me. Prefer my deepening in. Okay. Remove Tuss. I think Tuss plus second support will be too strong. Play Hammer, please. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. I haven't played her in a while. That would be very nice. I haven't played her. Thanks for reminding me. So I missed something that makes Artanis always the first ban now. Is Dash Swap that powerful? Yes. Ready to roll out. Anubar Rock is not good. Anub not good here. Because it's Sildjian. In my opinion. Hey Grubby, how did you end up with this game? Did you play since the beta? I started on October 14th, 2014. I needed a way to relax from heavy practice regime in StarCraft 2 and Cassandra had been playing Heroes for about a month, Cassandra's my wife, and uh, every time I heard her play in her room I heard her laughing and giggling and having so much fun I heard all the characters that I've come to know and love for such a long time in Heroes of the Storm, you know from the other games, the other IPs, and I saw Diablo like big hulking monster. 
I was like, man, I'd really like to play Diablo. I had never been interested in a MOBA before, and not really in other ones since either, but she was playing it, and I was like, can I play one game on your account? I had resisted for about a month. Uh, it was at the end of Technical Alpha. I had been resisting for a month Greetings, because it's like, friend. you know, I'm a serious pro gamer. I'm not gonna, you know, dilute myself with casual games or get distracted. And for, well, for 11 years in my pro gaming career, this was true. If I had a distraction, it would be a week or two, max. I had a lot of fun with pro gaming, but screw just having fun. It was always about performing as well. So when uh, when I tried Heroes for the first time, I was just having fun without uh, pressure to perform. Since the be well, in the beginning of Warcraft, it was different because I wasn't pro yet. But since then, it's been a roller coaster of emotions, of performances, pressure, and I wouldn't have had it on the other way. I've been very lucky, but. Uh, I was trying Heroes and I was like, wow, you know, a team game and uh, all these cool characters. And I started playing it and I just fell in love with it. I've been playing it ever since. Well, what are you Priestess for? Yuki, thank you for subbing. Uh, do we have three specialists? No, Ragnar's is an assassin. Let's see, I still need to think about my pick. Yeah, I'll go for Resistant. They have a whole bunch of stuns. Stuns roots. Greetings, friend. Hey, thank you for subbing, Seer. That's nice of Doggy. <laughs> nice tanking. Thanks. <laughs> Man, it feels good playing Hammer again. You, do you know how important uh, a hero's voice is for me to enjoy them? Nazebo, Hammer. Farming in this game important? Uh, for a few heroes, yes. Like last hitting and stuff, you mean, right? I get focus attack. Oh, you can't uh, si use it in siege anymore. You, you used to be able to uh, port when sieged. I didn't know they fixed it. Too bad.
I'll get um, minefield. That looks like good. It's really nice with mouth. Nice patch job. Look, you can gather, and it barely looks like it. I guess she is doing something. At least we got a tribute. I think last hitting is pretty fun. I'm used to it in Warcraft 3, but I don't need it. I was worried about multiple building selection in Starcraft 2 as well, compared to Starcraft 1. And yet, I do not need single building selection. Did you know that Zeratul don't lose stacks after death since the new patch? Think it's bugged? Yeah. Do we still have time for Bruiser? No, I, I seem to remember we had a fight after the Tribute Capture, so the next one should be in less than 10 seconds, I think. I think I should have just taken Advanced Artillery. Resistance... Resistant relies on eating stuns and then taking damage. <laughs> this one is hard. Nice job. Oh, music to my ears. Good heal, kid. Keep it up. We I think we have a chance maybe to take this. I saved you, bruh. Just run. Nice armor. Hey, that armor was sick. 50 armor. And if I stayed, I would kill them now. But it's okay. My teammates can take the glory too. So resistant has some pretty freaking epic value actually. my damage so I go it's me and rag basically that's the damage dealers oh, yeah resilient flame and uh, what's it called resistant are officially super bonker it. broken super bonkers broken 50% armor when you get stunned yes please I feel like we should maybe take this one too we ought to capture this mercenary camp it's kind of on the way. Nice. A little bit of delay. Hope he doesn't die for it. Because he's going to spawn. Okay, he did it smartly from, from the back. Oh, that's a pretty sick tribute location. Shit, I already got here, man. I'm gonna be late. Wait, is Murden buying enough time? 
Oh, this is going to be very close. Zulti got this mountain. And we got it. He didn't have to reach. Nice. Uh, I'm going to get giant killer. They got double warriors. Wow. And we still have boss pushing against no defense. We need to push hard mid so that they can't uh, defend. Or they don't defend this, it's fine too. Nice, gotta keep. Ah, and wind, useless. Very nice. I don't think we should go all in. Cork still has defense. Look at the amount of mines with mouth. I agree with that, Mura. We can push with siege. That's different. Nice, Merlin blocking mm -hmm. all the shots, man. Graduating range. What's up, Grump? What's up, Cody? Ooh, not bad move, but oh wow! It seems I've chosen to keep it in the wise. You're holding back. Don't. Not a bad move by Li Ming. I appreciate her bravery and her mechanics as she charged in one versus five and killed two, nearly three or four. You hate Hammer's Kokona quotes? That's the kind of heel mama likes. Probably because you are American. For a non-American, it's pretty funny. Oh, that's the kind of heel mama likes. To me, that personifies Kokona. That's a pretty big wave. Oh, you light up my life. This will be a blast. Delighted to, sir. Is that a special delay tactics or did he jump too early? Delivering. It's not funny. No, it's not. It's not funny. I know. I don't like gold member either. They say there's Dutchies. They don't even have a Dutch accent. Oh, he even got ATC. Ripper Rooney. I can click anyone I want. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was going to kill them all, but dominance uh, definitely changed things. You could have been moving right now with moving siege. I know, but I had really big range. I thought I was going to be able to click anyone I wanted to. Don't do it, Medivh. <laughs> uh. We're cursed, and they have a boss. And our towers are exposed. They will get the second boss. This is this we cannot help. I have to defend top. That's the guaranteed value. Fighting over bottom boss could potentially mean the end of the game for us. Absolutely. Fire from the 
So when you're defending like this, you want to hit enemy heroes once for the focus attack proc and then go back to PvE. Every time you just hit them once, but actually they're not defending. I mean, they're not pushing with it. So in this case, we actually have the choice to go defend the other boss already. But they're pushing into the fort, not the boss. And we have Siege Camp de-pushing the rest of the top, which is really helpful. Uh, don't defend from too far away, I think. Hmm, never mind. That was excellent. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Kill steal. Nice tranquility. I mean, Twilight Dream. GG! Very nice. <laughs> it's what I do. Know me as Senric. Well, that escalated quickly. Yes, it did. <laughs> Groovy, when's the best time to play Hammer? Uh, when your team is on board with it and willing to do what it takes to protect you and play around you. Which is basically these days almost never. You can play Hammer in standard drafts. But your slow rotations suck with bad teams. You can feel the difference whether you're with a good team or not. Now, by the way, let's just talk about the level 1 talent. I had value from this once. Maybe twice. It's pretty cool. It was insane when it procced. But Sergeant Hammer's two skills is... Zing out of the opponents collapsing on you and Wing enemy tanks to do a point and click stun on you. Varian, Diablo, ETC. If you W them as they go in, they are not unstoppable. They will get pushed back, they wasted their stun, and they're dead meat for your team. All you need is good timing. And resistant is counterintuitive. You're letting them stun you on purpose. It's like a backup that you shouldn't need. But if you play around this and you allow yourself to get stunned, you're basically more survivable than a tank for three seconds. And if Medivh knows that and he saves his force of will until maybe the, the second second of it, well, not right away, then uh, you can really own them with minefield and napalm strike while just shooting them at melee range and siege. So in a way, resistant is wrong. Advanced artillery is right. And yet, <laughs> the value is undeniable when it happens. It just, I don't think it happens often enough. But well, it's really good to play Hammer again. Uh, graduating range, Hover Siege are both good. You can take either one. Uh, I would say the better your team is, the more likely you're to take graduating. The worse they are, the more likely you're supposed to take Hover Siege. They're both good. Graduating is really good at snowballing. When you're ahead, because you can outrange their keep, you can just set up shop, have a picnic, and shoot down their keep while they defend you, your team. Look at Muradin, what he did. He knows his trait, second wind and third wind, can heal him up from any poke damage. So he took every leaming shot on purpose, making sure that it doesn't happen on me. Medivh, uh, Malf, they were ready to heal me when I needed it. And so, Glad to be able yeah. to support the stream. Hey, thank you, Citizen Juicer. Thank you very much. Welcome back. So yeah, that's uh, that's the hammer story.
Arkel, not bad. Can we greet out here? Nice. Get slowed. Very nice, very nice. 